Hello and welcome to Richie's Truck and Auto. Uh, what we've got here is a 2002 LB7 Duramax. Um, we've uh, suspected a faulty CP3. What we've gone ahead and done already is checked low pressure delivery and we did find a fault there so we corrected that. Um, that's nothing but a uh, low pressure gauge tapped off the top of the, um, the fuel filter housing. <clears throat> uh, the customer has already uh, shimmed and replaced the fuel pressure relief valve on the rail and uh, we've confirmed injector balance rates are acceptable. They're not the greatest, but they are acceptable. Um, what's happening is the truck is losing rail pressure at uh, wide open throttle under all power levels. And basically, um, there's no huge power sacrifice, but um, there's a main concern with uh, how the truck is performing overall because it's not able to achieve its maximum power output. Uh, it's only making about 10,400 to 11,000 PSI rail pressure. Um, Inside here we have our scan tool. I just conf uh, confirmed the balance rate test. And we've got another phone here for stopwatch down below. Let me dump this out. This is the return line off the fuel cooler. The fuel tank is full right now, so it is priming uh, fuel out under gravity. But that's the, uh, the return line off the fuel cooler there. And it's been placed over here and zip tied to the uh, to the air dog fuel line. You do need to disable the air dog because it will push fuel through and it will uh, skew the measurement from the return rate test. So this return rate is going to show what the eight injectors and the CP3 together collectively are going to return back to the tank. Uh, what we're hoping after 15 seconds of cranking time is to achieve less than 100 milliliters of total fuel returned. All right, so ignition on set our stopwatch up all right we're going to do this for 15 seconds um, outside real quick I need to show you that you need to disable the fuel injection control module by pulling out this fuse here which corresponds to cavity number one injector control circuit B All right, that disables the, uh, the injectors from functioning and it will not allow the truck to start while you're cranking it. All right, so key is on. Start our counter and let's do this for 15 seconds. Again, the batteries need to be in good operating shape in order to support this test. Let's see what we've got. All right, this is success, uh, at least for faulty injectors. What we've got here is approximately 50 milliliters total return fuel level. Um, so what we've confirmed is that uh, we do in fact have a faulty CP3. The CP3 is unable to keep up with the fuel demands. Um, this truck has about 250,000 miles on it. Uh, so the CP3 over the course of its time has uh, begun, begun to break down. Um, could be due to poor fuel quality over the course of its life, poor maintenance schedules. Uh, it's anybody's best guess. This customer just purchased this vehicle recently. Uh, he purchased it knowing that it had an injector issue. Uh, injectors were done on this truck two or three times, I believe, and the last time was about 20 or 30,000 miles ago. So, um, looks like we're going to be doing a CP3. And that's it. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out. It's a real quick test. Again, 2002 LB7 Duramax, Richie's Truck and Auto. Thanks for watching.